Hello, everyone. I'm Kevin Gastola. I'm the managing editor for Shadowproof.com, and welcome to this top 10 list. We're counting down the top 10 protest albums of 2022. Now, a little bit about this. We've been doing this list for at least seven or eight years, and also over the last three or four years, I've collaborated with C.J. Baker, who is a, a, a blogger who curates music over at Ongoing History of Protest Music, and you can find his Daily Dose of Protest and other posts over at that website. We cross-publish his selections throughout the year, and then every year at the end, I get to work with him on coming up with a list of 10 albums, and this is that list. So let's get right to it. Number 10 is an album from Ash Inspire. It's called Hostile Architecture. This album explores the architecture that is built uh, in late capitalism to further class warfare. Think about anti-homeless spikes that are put on benches and other sorts of objects like that that are added to buildings in order to uh, further this assault on the poor. This is a band that comes from Glasgow, and they make progressive metal music. Their music is often jazz-like, uh, and many of their works are very theatrical and grandiose. And uh, this song, Law of Asbestos, is a track from that album. Have a listen. Our number nine album comes from Jake Blount. It's called The New Faith. Uh, on this album, uh, CJ Baker featured the song Take Me to the Water. It's a traditional hymnal, but it weaves in this very post-apocalyptic kind of ominous prayer uh, for those who are seeking to be washed of the sins or for the sins of humanity. And uh, it deals with a future ravaged by climate disruption and it has a lot of similarity to the book, the classic science fiction novel from Octavia Butler from 1993 called The Parable of the Sour. Uh, so here is Take Me to the Water. For it is the fate of all humankind to be judged. Our forefathers took without giving, took without need, took things that they had neither desire nor use for, and threw them away. They covered the face of the ancient planet in newborn desert. They melted the ice at the ends of the earth, drowned the coast, emptied seas and forests of life. Number eight is this album from Bob Villain called Bob Villain Presents the Price of Life. It's dark. It's also brilliant in its crash course on the ways that the underclass must survive the capitalist economy. And uh, the song that we selected from this album, GDP, uh, very uh, elegantly, I would say, uh, captures uh, how much people really do not care about what elites care about when it comes to their metric for determining the health of the economy. So listen. <laughs> Number seven is Fantastic Negrito's White Jesus, Black Problems. This is an album that C.J. Baker selected for the list. Uh, Fantastic Negrito is a pseudonym. Uh, the musician's name is Xavier Amon de Frapales, um, and he performs under Fantastic Negrito. He recently discovered that his great, 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 great grandparents were a white Scottish servant and a black slave whose identity was erased from the annals of history. And a good example of him exploring this past on the album is A Man With No Name. So have a listen.
Number six is an album that comes from Ezra Furman. This is another selection by C.J. Baker for the list. Ezra Furman's All of Us Flames on this album. One song that really exemplifies the themes that Ezra Furman explores is Book of Our Names. Uh, uh, the, the album is one in which themes of queerness are unapologetically incorporated and Ezra Furman essentially claims timeless sound of rock music for the LGBTQ plus community. So have a listen to this one. And our names will be heard through prison walls, through wet city streets and international calls. And we'll read it until this whole empire falls. And Our number five album is Life on Earth by Hooray for the Riff Raff. This is an album from Puerto Rican singer-songwriter and a self-described nature punk, Alinda Segarra. It comes from C.J. Baker. This is his selection. Uh, this is an album that explores immigration, the environment, and other social ills. And on this album, Precious Cargo is a great example of the kind of protest music that features on this album from Sagara. So have a listen. I don't know why you would lie on me, the man from the ICE. And I don't know why he hate on me, the man from the ICE. Oh, ICE, ICE, me hate you, oh, ICE. The number four album is Breaking the Thermometer by Layla McCullough. She is a multi-instrumentalist and folk singer from New Orleans and also of Haitian descent. And through this, she put together a project that used audio from the archives of Radio Haiti and paid tribute to the journalists at this radio station that was shut down by the Duvalier regime and the kind of courage it took to fight back against this repression. Many of these journalists who were in Haiti uh, found their families murdered by the regime. And the song on this album that we feature in this is La Belle Est Fini, The Party Is Over. And it is a very good example of the kind of powerful Afro-Caribbean music that was created for this project. Have a listen. The number three album comes from Samora Pinderhues. The album is called Grief, and it is a product of a project in which 100 interviews were conducted with people who were incarcerated or who have carceral pasts. Uh, this one is the kind of album that if you're familiar with the work that we do at Shadowproof, you know we had to feature this. We had to include this album it's a very collaborative project that brings in a range of musicians. Um, and this song that we selected to feature in this list, Holding Cell, is an example of the kind of moving song in which you really feel what people have endured and experienced and how they'll carry this carceral experience with them for the rest of their life. Uh, this is Holding Cell. The last selection from C.J. Baker is Soul Glow's Diaspora Problems. And we feature this track off the album called Fucked Up If True. And the hardcore punk band explores through this song the fallacy that voting is enough to enact meaningful change. And uh, 
and like they they rage against this idea that you can create meaningful change through voting. Have a listen. <laughs> Number one, the final album on this list, Tanya Tagak, her album, Tongues. This is a very powerful album from Canadian Inhook singer Tanya Tagak, uh, where uh, she puts together these different tracks that are aimed at repairing the damage done by colonizers to the indigenous people of Canada. She brings through in a very raw and visceral manner through her throat singing, uh, what it is like to have survived the kind of uh, cultural genocide in particular that has been inflicted upon indigenous people. But obviously that population has been wiped out as well over centuries. And on Tongues, the selection from the album, the title track off of the album, uh, she directly uh, confronts her oppressor and shows the defiance that indigenous people have to claim their life and no longer be subjected to the sort of oppression that has rendered indigenous people non-existent for far too long. Have a listen. They took our tongues. They tried to take our tongues. We lost our language. And we didn't. In Nuvala, we didn't. In Nuvala. You can't take that from us. All right, everyone, that's our top 10 list. Top 10 list of protest albums for 2022 from myself and CJ Baker. I hope you found something new that you can go listen to and uh, look up on your favorite music streaming platforms, or perhaps you could support your local independent record store and uh, buy a physical copy of these albums, or go to Bandcamp. Bandcamp is a great place where you can support independent artists, many of the ones that we featured on this list. Uh, go to shadowproof.com for all of our protest music selections from the past year. There you can find the selections that were posted by CJ Baker, uh, a few by myself. Uh, and then you can find our past lists from previous years. And uh, also, if you like the work that Shadowproof is doing, uh, chip in a few bucks and support the way in which we incorporate this kind of coverage of protest music into the regular work that we do on prisons and whistleblowers over at Shadowproof. Have a happy new year. <laughs>